it's just not doable for for it wasn't for me. That's how Josh Paulson says he felt in 2021 when looking at the prices of places to live. The house uh, that my cousin and I were renting went up for sale, and I couldn't find anything affordable for me to to live. So he went out of town for work, couch surfed, and even slept in his truck some nights. It's not that hard not have a place to live or to have a mental situation that I can't take care of on my own. And in May 2023, Paulson says he felt unlovable, broken, and in a crisis. I was walking towards the liquor store and there was a police officer hit a car um, right on path and I just stopped him and asked him for help. And Paulson checked himself into a facility. Things get better. It's not permanent. Paulson has found a place to stay and is getting back on his feet. But the affordable housing crisis in Austin has impacted many. It just seems like that we're just getting bumped out of any kind of affordable anything. In 2017, the Austin City Council approved a strategic housing plan, which called for construction of 135,000 more housing units by 2025, with 60,000 of them being affordable. At the halfway point, a new report reveals the city isn't on track to accomplish that goal. There's been multiple different things that make it really difficult. I think um, there's no doubt that we cannot underplay the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the sort of associated economic downturn has had. The report made by the city of Austin and the nonprofit Housing Works Austin says about 10,500 units affordable to households earning 80% medium family income or below have been built over the past five years, which is just over a third needed to keep pace with meeting the goal. It looks like we're behind in our goals and we are, but at the same time, we have a lot of units in the pipeline based on investments from our city, from Travis County, from the federal dollars. So in the future, in the coming years, I think we can see us move really rapidly on some of these goals.